As May opens up his gallery in City Plaza, the veteran mural painter is thinking about his upcoming hockey rink-sized project that requires 2,500 cans of spray paint, totaling close to 1,000 gallons. May says the mural is not funded by a government grant. Instead, he's looking to the art community and other businesses for donations. In return, they'll get a special shout-out. Their company logo um, will be painted on the wall down in a section that explains exactly how the entire mural uh, came, came together. The mural came together when art fusion artist Stephen Watson died from lung cancer. May was blown away by Watson's work and wanted to share his last piece, The Octopus Garden 2. That's what will be on the Stephen Watson Memorial Mural. The project begins on August 1st. He will be painting for at least 15 hours a day, every day. He says that this will guarantee the project's completion by the end of the month, in time to honor Watson's death last year. When May approached Watson's wife Renee to use the painting, she was honored and impressed that he wanted to do this. She says it's impossible to comprehend an artist's desire to share their art and now her husband's would be shared on such a grand scale. If Stephen knew, he, he would talk about it for days. It's, it's recognition of the man that I knew and it's recognition of the artist that he was. She says he was an artist who painted bright and happy images that had a deep, important message, often to do with ocean depletion. That's what May wants people to see. It being in the core of the city with um, all of the environmental issues that go along with, uh, with Stephen Watson and his beliefs and everything from being up there for everybody to read is, uh, is definitely going to help revitalize, revitalize the core. May says the mural will be a showstopper. People will have to stop and comment on the big bright octopus and think about what it represents. For Western News, I'm Bonnie Guan.